Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can implement the await mechanics with your custom character in Motion Matching and Unreal Engine 5. In the previous tutorial, we learned how you can use the Niagara Particle system to achieve the evade effect. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me actually give you a quick demo of how the evade mechanics looks like in between of the combat. So I'll just approach the enemy AI and when I'm inside of the range, the enemy will start approaching me and try to attack. So here I can perform the evade mechanics. There you will find I have the after image effect as well as the evade effect over there. I am not using uh, any animation for dodging. Here I am just trying to evade from the attack. If you want to learn how to perform a perfect dodge, I would highly recommend to check out Ali's latest video on perfect dodge and also shout out to Clyde for letting me uh, get to Ali as well. So yeah. Uh, highly recommend check out both of their videos on perfect dodge implementing so in this tutorial we are going to perform the evade mechanics without any animations so let's get into the blueprints so here I'm back in the game animation sample project default map so as I said in the previous tutorial we learned about how to create these evade effects uh, and now we will try to add the mechanics for the same which is actually pretty simple so quickly we'll open up the echo character blueprint and over here as you can see that when I press the X key I am activating or deactivating the after image uh, effects so let us actually rename this as uh, underscore evade effects all right so uh, what we will do instead of um, just activating and deactivating on on just one key uh, for adding the mechanics uh, we will actually use crouch so input action crouch and here we have the input action crouch and we will get the character movement and from here also we'll get is flying. And from the character movement, we will get uh, falling or is falling. And we will use our boolean. So whether we are falling or we are flying, we do not want to perform evade. All right. So we press B for getting the branch. So false and what we will use is double press which we made a macro in the previous tutorial so get back over here so I'll double press and when i'm double pressing i can activate it all right and we will actually uh, also use uh, that we can only do it once and then we can uh, reset it okay so as you can see when I double press it it spawns but we actually want to do it only once so after we double press I'm going to use do once node so once it is completed we can activate the evade effect and from here we can deactivate after the double press is released and after that we can try to reset it okay let's test it out so I double press and yeah something like this and what extra I did is the actual mechanics for evading so right now you see the character is not going anywhere it's just going where it is uh, supposed to be because I'm pressing the, these keys but to actually evade from this position to another position without any animation 
uh, we will use something called as uh, launch character. So uh, the launch functionality, we can add it right over here. So over here, before uh, activating, let me actually get a copy over here to keep it clean. All right, so there's a interesting node called as launch character. What it does is it will actually move your character with some velocity. All right, so we will again get the character movement and velocity we will get so get velocity and we will multiply this so multiply this by some values which will give us a push for evading so we can give it like six six and in z 0 0.75 you can just come up with your own values all right so after this i will activate the weight All right, let's check this out. So, so now, as you can see, the character is kind of evading from one position to another position. And this actually looks sick. You can change the uh, velocity, as I said. So the more speeder you get, uh, the more faster. It is based on the velocity, as you saw. We are using the character movements velocity. All right. So now what we will add is time dilation, which actually allows us to slow down or make the time faster, the in-game time actually. So for that, uh, again, over here, after we launch our character and what we can do is before activating the evade effect, we can set global time dilation over here we can set it to 0.2 so now it will be getting a lot uh, slower to give it a slow-mo effect right and after that how we can uh, get the time dilation back to one is after we deactivate the evade and we can set global time dilation again we can set it to one and right after this we can reset it and let's test this out let me save it all right so there you go you will find a slow-mo effect just like this and in this effect you will find that our after image or the actually evade particles are slowed down so you can just increase the amount of these particles just by going inside the evade effect and right over here we have the loop duration you can set it to like 0 0.05 or something and we can save it and you can then test it out now you will find there will be a lot more evade particles just like this so this is how i uh, remade this in the wukong remake series in the combat i try to evade from the enemy's attack something like this all right so now how you can actually add the posable mesh to get the after image a static mesh or it is a skeletal mesh over there so for that we can create a new blueprint of after image and we will spawn it just before these evade effects all right so we'll just go over here inside our blueprints folder and create an actor blueprint of pp underscore after image and i just open this up and over here, uh, just have to add a posable mesh. 
so this posable mesh what it does it will get the mesh of an instance of the actual mesh and it will copy the pose so from here we'll get the posable mesh let's just delete these so get posable mesh and we have a node of copy pose from skeletal mesh so we have our wukong skeletal mesh so we can set the skeletal mesh right over here so go inside the posable mesh over here just search skeletal mesh and here we can type wukong you can get any uh, of your mesh over here so what it will do is when this gets activated it will copy the pose from the wukong mesh to uh, the posable mesh all right and then it, it can spawn so now we we have to get from which mesh we want to copy the pose all right so here we can just promote this to a variable and we can rename this as copy uh, pose mesh and we'll convert to a validated get so that we will only copy the pose when our mesh is valid the pose mesh is valid all right so right after this let's hit compile and save what we will do is we'll go back to our echo blueprint so our echo character blueprint all right so right over here before we actually launch the character let me just shift this back what we will do is we will spawn actor from class and after image this one and we will actually set the mesh from where to copy over here um, so let's head back inside the after image and we will get the copy post mesh and we will set the variable to instance editable and exposed to spawn so that we can actually set this variable let's get back over here let me refresh the nodes copy pose mesh so we want to copy the pose from the echo body mesh right so we'll get it and copy pose from this mesh right and over here we can get transform get world transform and we can just directly set it right over here and i think we are good to go also uh, actually accidentally set the skeletal mesh to wukong uh, we have to set it for the echo character All right now this is set and let's try to run this i'll hit compile so we'll get the world transform of wherever the echo body is this one and we will spawn the after image at that location and after this we can actually add a delay of as our time will be slow down we can add the delay of like 0 0.05 something so let me hit play you see we have the mesh over there it looks actually amazing so to actually increase the uh, time you can um, also one thing you will notice that the mesh will not disappear so we actually have to destroy the mesh also uh, the hair is not there so you can also add the uh, hair mesh as well so to actually destroy that we can use a uh, lifespan so let's get back to our echo character and from here we can get the after image and we can set lifespan and we'll set it to one second 
right and if you uh, closely notice you will find that the character uh, before it does the pose before it copies the pose it shows into a, a pose so if you look closely you will find that the character hits the a pose so to actually fix that uh, what you can do is over here set a uh, movement mode so over here uh, set mobility actually and we can set it to static so after you have done this you will no longer uh, have that glitch of getting the a pose in between so yeah it will directly copy the pose the current pose from the mesh so yeah this is how it looks like so you can just uh, uh, change the intensity of the Niagara particle system uh, so I can get back over here I can change the color for this so we get over here so the color has been stored over here I can set it to like 0 0.25 this also I can set it to like 0 0.5 or something and yeah uh, so that you can have that effect of after image and uh, evade something like this so I double press you have the pose mesh and that as well and it looks actually pretty nice to actually increase the delay or uh, you can actually get back over here we have this delay over here uh, we can increase it to like 0.09 So that we have the pose mesh first and then we have the after uh, the evade effects so you can increase it more like 0 0.2 or 0 0.15 maybe what this will do is increase the gap between our meshes so just like that you see the posable mesh and then the effects so yeah, this is how you can implement the evade and the after image mechanics with these amazing effects. And this has been done without any animations. So without any extra animation, I mean. So if you do have the animation for dodging or evading, adding those in uh, these effects and the mechanics will actually looks really nice. So uh, let me know what other mechanics would you like to see with motion matching or anything else would you like to learn regarding Unreal Engine. Uh, so you can join my Discord channel and put that in the suggestions. Again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned for more.